Have you wondered what's been going on at the grid, the development on the former Texas Instruments site? Us too. So we went to someone who knows, the Stafford Economic Development Corporation's Patty Wharf. You know, obviously with the pandemic, um, everything slowed down. Um, I think I, I would say nationwide. Um, I think there are a lot of people that would argue worldwide, but um, we had huge momentum, you know, um, in and out burger, whiskey cake, um, Outback and Pluckers had literally just opened. Um, they they all opened, you know, December, January timeframe. And of course, then the world as we know it changed. Um, and they had to make, um, with the exception of In-N-Out Burger, no one was really prepared uh, to go to essentially nothing but takeout, especially with the uncertainty. Everything just sort of came to a screeching halt, if you will. Construction stopped, um, plans stopped. Once things started opening back up, um, it's absolutely been baby steps. Um, because, you know, when you think about it, a lot, there's a lot of money at stake. You know, we had talked to a, a dual branded hotel that was gonna literally be the first one in this area. Um, and and we're pretty far along in the process when all of this happened. and. And as we all know, hotels, more than anything, um, have struggled and continue to struggle. And uh, that was that was actually a private investment group. And they have not said no. Um, I talked to them last month uh, in December, but they have everything on hold. And, um, you know, you hate to say this, but that's really a smart move because the last thing anyone wants is for them to come in open and then not be successful. Lazy Dog, which uh, is on the feeder road, basically right next to Chipotle and Verizon, but kind of facing the 59 feeder road. You you can tell, I mean, they were halfway built. Because they're, they, they are a bar, but with heavy emphasis on food. Um, and you know, the concept of that was um, bringing your dog. That was, that was sort of the concept of that place. And, Basically, they have just sort of stalled construction for the moment, again, to just see how the market comes back. Um, they very much want to finish this project and we very much want them to finish the project. Um, and street level, the developer has given them some concessions because especially for them, it, it is a very strange time, but we are still hopeful that they will, um, they will come back. The things that you will see open fairly quickly, um, if you have not seen the new Raising Canes, they've been open. They actually opened during the pandemic. They opened back in November and have done extremely well. The AT&T store that's actually located adjacent to the Pluckers, they literally should be open any day now. We have not been given an, an actual date. The signs went up at Torchy's. They're just a little bit further down from the AT&T store, but the grid is, is continuing to do great things. Um, they are continuing to add strong sales tax numbers to, uh, to, to our base here in Stafford. And that's a good thing um, that, that helps us continue the, the Mayor Scarcella legacy of no property tax. And um, so we're gonna continue to work with them and help them to make certain that they bring good, strong sales tax producers that also are, are, are things that we all want, that we all want to see. And, and I, can, I can assure you that that is happening just at a, at a slower pace than any of us had, had really hoped it would be this year. For Stafford Weekly News, this is Randall Williams.